Hello everyone. Let's go ahead get started with stop words count. So in a stop words count, if you remember, we have already imported stop words from a spacey. You can get it like here stop words. And if you use here a print statement, you will get the complete list of the start stop words printed on your Jupyter notebook. And uh, the length of this stop words you can get with len of stop words. So it is around 300. Yes, this is 326 stop words. All right. So you might ask what is a stop words? Stop words are those words which occurs very frequently in the text corpus. If you go through the list of these text data, you will see that these text data are so common. And these type of the text data uh, doesn't represent much about the text, uh, uh, the sentiment, uh, text sentiment. All right. Like the above, laterally, together, many, sometime, take, each, are, them, six, one, two, three, A, B, C. All right. So not the ABC actually, so I just went through the flow. All right, so you have the he, see, is, uh, may, could, might, us, less. All right, so these are the stop words. All right, so what is the sense of removing the stop words? We need to remove the stop words because in the corpus, we have around the 30, 40%, 30% uh, percent, uh, of the data um, that is the stop words. And uh, ultimately these stop words increases the dictionary size. But do remember at many places we might need stop words. It is not recommended to remove the stop words at every place. For example, whenever you are trying to get the sense or the semantic meaning of a sentence, then you need you need these stop words like these not and the cannot and even in the sentiment most of the time these stop words are the necessary all right so i'm just showing you a way how you can count these stop words all right let's say you have x is equal to i'm gonna say that here this is the text data all right, so this is the x and if you do here x dot split, you will get here a tokenized version of this x data. So there you have a list. This is the text data. All right. So now you see there we have this is and the. These are the stop words. Now we need to we need to count total number of stop words present in a particular in a particular uh, sentence. Earlier, we have been working on the Twitter data. So we are going to see how many stop words are present in each of these tweets. All right. So to count these stop words, we have to find out that which one is a stop word. So we have to apply here a for loop. So I'm going to say that here for t in x dot split. All right. Thereafter, I have to check if this t is present in this stop words. All right. Then you can say that if t in stop words. All right. Then I'm going to make here a comprehensive list. All right. So this is saying that we have this is the, all right. So this is the stop word. And if you take the length of this list, you will get the total number of stop words present in the Twitter data. So, so for particular this string, we have three total number of stop words in this particular sentence. All right. So let's go ahead and apply the same formula in our data frame. So we have here a data frame and the data is in tweets column. Thereafter, we need to use here a lambda function. 
lambda x and thereafter I'm just gonna copy this whole uh, this whole code and then I'm gonna paste it here so it is going to return the length of stop words I mean the counts of actually the stop words so I'm gonna say here stop underscore words then underscore length all right so these are the stop words and if we see here with some random rows df dot sample and it says that in this first one we have eight stop words and in the second tweet we do not have any stop words and in the rest of rest of these tweets we have a three stop words all right perfect so this is all about in this lesson. Thanks a lot for watching it. I'll see you in next lesson.